looking for some hiders. Oh, up there. Oh, somebody's hiding up there on the left. I see the bongo, oh, kind of a bongo. rusty orange colored antelope with the tilted back horn design. Designed for moving through a forest without getting tangled up. Yeah. That's a good horn design to have if you live in a forest. Oh, it's a baby bongo. Baby bongo. Some baby bongo horns sprouting out from its baby bongo head. Oh, get a picture. <laughs> Ooh, let's head for the watering hole. Kind of the grand oasis of an African forest. Animal might come down on a hot sunny day and maybe grab a drink. But around the forest, they don't have to worry about any of the big cats from the savannas hanging around. Just leopard. Not a whole lot going down right now by the water hole. See anything? Me neither. This way. Deeper and deeper through the forest we go. That's where animals go after they've had a drink. Isn't that right? <gasps> Look, puddle. Take that Oh, there's something. Ooh, over that ledge on the left is the black rhino. It's our lucky day. 3,000 pounder. Despite a rhino's weight, they can charge like 30 miles per hour. Strong and durable, too. Having that hide nearly an inch thick. Bamboo, one of the bamboo. How do you do? Um, oh, a kudu's hiding back there. I saw a kudu real quick. Oh, yeah, I see it. Saw for a millisecond. Hmm. Well, out of the forest we go. Next stop, the river. Oh, the hippo. 